Hey guys, uh, I hope that you guys are doing fine. This is a part eight of the SCCM current branch uh, series, uh, the one that is uh, basically around uh, uh, Windows Server 2019. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, software update point. It's also called as a sub. So uh, basically, I would just log into SCCM uh, uh, server, the one that I uh, built uh, earlier during the series. If you have just uh, have, uh, if you just have landed on this uh, video, you want to probably start from the beginning so that everything makes sense. The link to this uh, playlist uh, for this whole series is in the description of uh, this video. In this video, I'm just going to configure uh, and also I would say that enable the feature uh, for software update uh, point, uh, and then I'm just gonna once it's successfully installed, I would uh, also sync. Uh, uh, all the patches, uh, I will make sure uh, that uh, the patches are showing in the SCCM console and then uh, I will do few uh, verification uh, through uh, the logs that are on the server side. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to log in and RDP into uh, the SCCM server, which is, uh, uh, is SCCM01, uh, it's right here. Gonna launch a uh, uh, SCCM console. And uh, enabled uh, to, to add any kind of a feature on any site is actually a site role that you need to add. So just simply click on uh, admin administration, then go to site configuration, expand that, and then server and site system roles. Uh, select the site. In, in my case, there is only one site since it's a lab and it's a standalone site. So just like that. And uh, then right click. Add site system role. And uh, if you had multiple, obviously you're going to see more. But that's the only site uh, that's I, that I have it uh, in my environment. So leave everything default. Click next. There is no proxy that uh, that is a proxy server that is being used in this environment. So leave everything default. Click next. And these are the roles that uh, are still uh, not installed. So in the future videos, I will keep adding all of them. But for this video, I'm just going to only install software update point. Click next. Select uh, WSS is configured to use port 8530 and 8531. Uh, and since this is only the internet, I mean, if I was configuring for internet or for different purposes, I would make some more selections, right, uh, for the client connections. In the future, I would show you some more videos and we'll, we'll work on those. But for now, leave everything else as a default. Click next. Everything is a default here too. Click next. Leave uh, a sync from Microsoft updates. Uh, as a default, uh, basically everything default on the screen too. Next, enable synchronization on a, a schedule. Yes, I want to do that. So I'm just gonna check that and then uh, I'm going to select a custom schedule. You could go with the simple schedule too and just leave it as uh, seven days. I'm just gonna do it for a one day right here. one day basically is saying that start uh, syncing uh, the synchronization after this date after this time every day so click OK and then uh, yes I want to uh, get the alerts uh, if synchronization fails so click uh, check that mark and then click next this is uh, the, the the basically whenever the patches needs to be, whenever they are superseded, what needs to happen. So I want to immediately expire them. Uh, that's what I do. 
Some people say to keep it for a little while, but uh, to me, the way I, I feel is that if they are superseded, they are no good. So you could just literally uh, expire them right away. But some environments do, so you might want to check with how, how your environment is set up. And uh, I always uh, try my very best to run WSS uh, cleanup after synchronization, just in case if... Uh, and that this is a, a, a this could be a, a deep discussion around this one too. Certain people would say no, keep them some of the patches for a little longer, just in case if you wind up needing something. And as certain people would like to keep things uh, uh, clean, so I always uh, try to run WSS cleanup after synchronization. Click next. This way, uh, the database and everything kind of stays clean. And in the certain things, if, if they are not really needed, I'm expiring them, why would I want to keep them? Click Next. Everything default. Click Next. Classifications here. Um, uh, obviously, it's going to be uh, the purpose, which purpose that you are trying to use uh, your environment for. I'm going to check everything but two. Uh, the only one that I'm going to leave is the tools and then also upgrades. Uh, I will do a, a separate video around upgrades later on and then I will go and show you guys how you could uh, modify or basically add or subtract these classifications even down the road too. There is not really mandatory to uh, add or subtract at this time. So that, that would be a separate part of the video or different future video. If you have Microsoft Surface uh, uh, in the environment that you want to include it, I don't have any Surface, so I'm just gonna leave this one on check. Next. Products here, uh, just I'm just gonna click on the plus sign, and uh, since these are the Microsoft, so just click on the plus, plus sign, and you could select which products, which basically, uh, updates that you want uh, the SCCM to pull from the WSS server. So I am only interested at this time in Windows uh, devices. So it's going to be Windows 10, uh, Windows 8. Basically, uh, I'm even actually going to go away. I don't have anything. Uh, Windows Internet Explorer is fine. I will get rid of these. I don't have a Windows Server 2003. So basically, just you want to select whatever uh, applies to you and your environment. I don't have Windows Server 2028. I do have something in Windows Server 12, 2012. Don't have a Vista. I'm going to get rid of it. No XP, nothing. So get rid of that one. So this is uh, all. Uh, you could play with this. Uh, it's, it's very self explanatory. Click Next. Languages. All I need is one, which is English. If you have multiple languages or if you just have a different language, then obviously you would need to select that uh, according to how you are wanting. All I need is English. Click Next. So here it will show you the summary of all the selections kind of that you made. Uh, it's a quick, very high level summary. Click Next. And this would uh, start working and uh, start installing. So oh, I'm going to show you the logs. So as you could see, everything kind of went pretty quick and successful. This is a good sign. So I'm just going to go and close this one here. And then I'm going to show you also, if you click it here uh, on to the, basically select the site, you should see that role that was added right here. And I'm also going to show you logs. So the, the, the logs that uh, uh, we, I'm going to show you are, let me show you again, uh, it's going to be a sub setup dot log and WCM dot log, WSS uh, CTRL dot log and sync man, WSync MGR is going to be after the sync synchronization is started and then also completed. I will show that log uh, towards the end. and. Uh, w uh, uh, sub setup dot uh, log you are going to find in the installation of your SCCM. In my case, I have installed it into C program files, Microsoft uh, configuration manager, and logs. Go into logs and just simply search for 
sup sup setup.log right there. So I'm just going to open it. Quickly look. This is why uh, in the, my previous one of my previous video, I mentioned that don't worry whenever the installation is happening and you wind up seeing this kind of an error. Sometimes it, it just needs to go around and loop it and checks for certain things. So that's why if you just look at it, the first run, it does did uh, try to look for certain thing and it showed an error, but with the second run, it was good. At the end of the day, what you want to do is make sure how the, uh, the installation uh, is ending. So in this case, you could see it was uh, successful. Same thing, uh, next would be WCM, WCM.log. Open it. Let's see what we see there. So uh, as you could see, uh, this one is, is still running because it went and it's going to start uh, communicating to the WSS server. And it would also go and check what are the uh, patches that are needed. Uh, so it's, it's just going to run, uh, check for the categories and everything. You could see. Uh, and uh, just wait for some time so that it start uh, doing the sync and it would be completed. So I'm not going to wait for it. It sometimes uh, all of these uh, synchronization of the patches, especially when you run the very first time, it can take a very long time too. So I'm not going to wait for it, but this is the log that you would go and check. It's going to close this one. And uh, if we look at uh, now w sus ctr log and and this is basically the one that uh, uh is the log that checks the the connection uh, and the health between uh, sccm and the wss server and as you could see that uh, uh there uh, is nothing wrong with it. There are no on WSS server components on WSS server. Successfully checked database connection, no issues with it. This is all you want to know at this, this point. And this is successful, there is no issue with this. And the last log is about uh, WSync. That is actually the actual synchronization uh, of the patches uh, on each like a patch level. This can, this is the one that's gonna take very long time. So since, uh, I mean, this is, this is one more thing that I do want to mention too, that I have not started the synchronization right now. So that's why you are seeing kind of, uh, it's, it's just waiting. So I will just go and start the synchronization and you would see that uh, it's going to start uh, populating uh, the sync, sync reserve. And to start the sync, what you want to do is just uh, click Assets and Compliance. Oh, oh, my bad, sorry. Software Library. And then All Software Updates or just, just select, so, uh, yeah, All Software Updates. And you would see right there, it says uh, Synchronization Software Updates. Let's click on it. Run Synchronization. And uh, it's giving you a message. You can review the synchronization by uh, checking the, the, the component uh, SMS WSS sync manager. So click yes, and it's also, I mean, the log is another way to check it too. So click yes. This should start synchronization process. I'm just gonna wait just for a second. So as you could see, if you look at the WCM log, it's still uh, trying to sync up uh, the categories. Uh, so once it would be completed, then it's gonna move on to synchronization of the patches. So I'm just gonna go pause again and wait for this log to be completed, WCM. And then uh, obviously the next step automatically the system is going to, it's, it's waiting and if you look at it, just keeps trying and it just gives it a message like, hey, wait, wait for it and just check back. So. This can take, initially, this process can take uh, some time, uh, hours, depending on how many uh, categories that you are trying to sync. So I'll just uh, pause it, and as soon as it moves uh, forward, uh, as you could see, it just checked again. Uh, as soon as it's completed, uh, I'm gonna uh, come back, thanks. 
So uh, I'm just looking at the log, uh, wcm.log, and if you could see uh, the categories are uh, kind of uh, already synced. So once this is all completed, then it's going to uh, basically start syncing the e patches. I'm not going to keep waiting on it. You can just look at these logs and try to play with it. In the next video, I will show you the results uh, of all the patches as soon as they are all synced. So they should all kind of show up here, whatever the, the non-superseded uh, patches uh, are. So I will start my next video uh, with uh, with uh, that. I'll show you guys the, the patches that are synced up. And the next video is going to be about setting up the SCCM catalog. And you need to set up the catalog so that uh, if you want the end user to have the ability to install the application through a web portal, uh, that's where you could control those apps and give the ability to the user so that they can install uh, whenever they want to. That's kind of on the, making the applications or packages available on demand. So I hope that you like this video. If you have any kind of questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section. Uh, if you have any kind of uh, even feedback, uh, please leave in the comment section. Thank you so much, wherever you are. Peace.